Hello, this is an Anderson and Copra Sportsman. A Puko inspired knife um, made by Swedish uh, high-end knife duo Anderson and Copra. And uh, this is uh, pretty nice. It is pretty nice. Now, have a look up in that link that's just popped up uh, a bit later or now and then come back to this they also make the urban husky uh folder so i've got i've had this for ages and um this is the copper version um copper scales and you can see the copper has uh, uh, uh what patinaed that's it that's the word i'm looking for beautifully and uh the blade is uh is, is absolutely lush, really, really cool. And this is basically a, 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 a awesome, perfect little friction folder knife from Anderson and Copra, Urban Husky. And then, then they come along and they make this rather charming thing. Now this is a fixed blade um, and it has stacked leather handles. No, a stacked leather handle. It's only one handle. Sorry, I'm so used to, to folders that uh, I talk about plural handles, but <clears throat> sorry, I'm waffling. So Anderson and Copra, there's their logo there on the base of the blade. Just flip the blade and we can see Sweden. So it's Swedish uh, steel. And uh, the actual steel I'll put in the link in the details below. Um, I'm not going to go into specific technical details here. Uh, we're just going to have a look at it together, just a, a little guided tour. So this is the Sportsman, and there's four versions of this. Uh, number one, number two, number three. Can you guess what the fourth is? Correct, number four. Uh, as well as um, Damas... Da oh, what do they call it? I've forgotten. You know that Damas steel um, blade stuff. There's versions like that as well. <clears throat> Uh, Damascus steel, Damas uh, whatever they call it. Uh, I'm not interested in that stuff. I don't like it. But uh, the, this this steel, oh, it's lush. And I'm just going to quickly show you whilst we're talking about steel. Look at the brushing on that. It's glorious, isn't it? Really, really nice. Uh, let's get that focus. Come on, camera. There we go. Look at that. That's a work of art. I'm a bit worried about when I have to sharpen this. I'm going to spoil those lines. Really nice. And the spine is fantastic as well. Ah, oh, I wish this thing would stay focused. It's got a lovely shape to the spine. They've just ed taken the edge off. It's it's absolutely it's it's lovely. It's it's smooth, so you're not gonna get a spark off a, a flint, um, you know, fire steel, which is fine by me. Um but it's just lovely and tactile. Okay, let's get back to this handle. So it stacks leather. And, sorry, the one, two, three, four business, what was I on about? Well, there's different patterns, different coloured leather, different patterns of, of the rings of leather. And um, this is the number three. So this is a sportsman number three. And uh, this is the design, the, the sort of the layout of the leather that I preferred. But uh, to be honest, I could have gone for, for one of each. They're really, really pretty, really pretty. Then we've got the stainless steel uh, top and bottom. Oh no, it's not stainless steel, it's aluminium. Uh, a top and bottom. So it's very, very light. It's a really light thing. Very comfortable and easy to manoeuvre. Let's just come back in. Sorry, I'm going in and out. It's just a, it's a nice uh, knife. It's a nice knife to handle. So on the base, we've got it's super shiny and it says Anderson. Hang on, <clears throat> let's get it a bit steady. Let's get it so we can see it. Anderson. Oh, it's super shiny. You can see my camera. And Copra, Sweden. And it's got this protruding... Uh, I don't know what that's called. Um, now, I've been into knives for quite a while. And as I did mention, friction folders and folders um, and slip joints and lockbacks and all those folding things. I have not really encountered that before what is that all about 
on the butt. It's cool. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> the the tang of this of the blade runs through the inside. So it's um it's quite th well it's quite thick the tang. Actually, you can see it on their website. The the, the naked no, not on their website on Instagram. On the Instagram channel, there's there's photos of the the them making the blades, sh sharpening them and shaping them and stuff, and the tang goes all the way through, and that is the, um, the base of the tang protruding. But why is it like that? Do you know? If you do, let me know. I'd be interested to find out. So, you may have turned the volume down, because you've had enough of my inane chit chat and waffle. And you're just looking at it. I mean, that is really the point of these videos, is just to look at it. But I can't just be silent. So I'm going to chit-chat and waffle. Absolutely beautiful. It, it is a piece of art. It really genuinely is a piece of art. But it's practical. So I've got big hands. I, I take an XL glove and... It's, uh, my whole hand is, is accommodated there on the lovely handle, and it's grippy. Now, the, <clears throat> the uh, in theory, these leather stacked handles are good in all weathers, and they, uh, as the, if they're wet, they're grippy. I don't really want to get it wet, but it feels grippy dry. Uh, the blade is, is, is just, you know, fantastic. Great shape, you know, for precision work and for... Uh, tougher work it's a thick blade so there's no flex there is no flex no I'll just say there's no oh, a tiny little bit of flex um, but it's lovely and thick and it's got it's got some good um, chunky reassurance to it now you don't just get that you also get a sheath now this is also rather fantastic, and it's Anderson and Copra handmade, lovely green leather sheath, and it's really nicely made, fantastic leather. Uh, now I've uh, seen some sheaths in my time. Oh, I, I don't mind admitting. Um, but sorry, that's just stupid. This is really nice, lovely stitching. Let's have a, let's come in and have a look. So lovely stitching. It's all good, you know. Someone who knows what they're doing has made that. Nice stamped bit there. It's just a simple belt loop there. Uh, now down the bottom, little drain hole. So if it is wet, when you put the knife away, it, it can drain. So that's good. And then, uh, let's see if we can see this. It's dark in there, but can we see? Oh, there you go. So they've made. They put a little extra bit of leather down the bottom catch and hold the tip of the blade in the bottom of the sheath. And that's a nice touch, I think. Um, they've also got this nice little extra um, strip to give the uh, the blade somewhere to sit instead of slicing the leather when you put it away. And it just fits perfectly. So I'm going to push it in one-handed. Here we go. There. Perfect fit. Absolutely perfect. And it's uh, just easy to pull out. It's nice. There we go. Oh, let's measure it. Let's measure it. Can you measure it, please? Yes, all right. So, the blade is, let's just go from bottom to bottom to top, nine centimeters. The handle, I'm trying to get it all in, in view. The handle, excluding that protruding bit, 10 point three centimeters and then that protrudy bit so what else oh yeah so the height of the handle is it's a it's a the handle is a strange shape can you see so at, at its highest it's three centimeters the um the handle top to bottom and then thickness wise it's 18 millimeters thick at its thickest but you can see it tapers it, 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 you know, the, the, the shape is sort of dynamic shape, it's nice. And then the blade itself, the thickness of the blade at, at its thickest here is, do, 
what? What is that? Three, three point five millimeters, and then obviously at the tip, um, I don't know. Where would you measure? You can't measure the tip, can you? Why am I trying to measure the? I've lost, I've lost the plot. There we go. Anderson and Copra Sportsman number three. What do you reckon? Pretty good, isn't it? They know what they're doing. Those two. Every eventuality cupboard. Right, well, there you go. What do you reckon? Leave your comments below. Click like, subscribe. Uh, have a little tour around my channel. I do knife reviews. I do watches as well and EDC. I'd really appreciate uh, any interaction from you. That would be really cool. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon.